So all you're going to do is grab two and wrap it around twice. Make sure you got it around twice. You put it on there. Wrap it around twice. We need to be on the inside. So we're going to start on the inside like that. Okay, there you go. And we're going to do this all the way up this pattern. So it's one 10 OCB, one super dual, one 10 OCB, one 8 OCB, one 10 OCB, one super dual, one 10 O, and we're going to do our first square. We're going to drop that down. Oh, and I think I forgot to tell you that I did not use, I'm using, whoops, now I got a knot. How do you do that? So let's get the knot out. Usually, what I'm using is C Eslon. Eslon doesn't usually knot up like that. I really like Eslon. So let me see if I can get this out. It's real easy. All you gotta do is find a loop, stick your needle in there, and pull whatever. There's usually one that's keeping it in a knot. So there you go, I found it, I pulled that out, and the knot is clear. Alright, let's start this again. Wow, forgive me. Let me make sure it should not knot up because it's usually not. Okay, so this is our lineup right there. Just imagine that the red um, 80 is our center, so these should mirror each side. So we have to do two squares. So I'm going to add my other square. I'm going to go up in here and I'm going to put these two together. It's best if you do it twice, so I'm going to go through this bead, square bead, and go up into this square bead. We need to stay on the left hand side the whole time. And we're going to repeat this sequence nine times. So here we go again. I keep this over there because that's what I want to pick up. So it's a 10 0 super dual, a 10 0, an 8 0. 10 0, super dual, a 10 0, and a square. There you go. We're going to drop that. We're going to pick up another square because we got to do our other side. Go ahead and push it down, make it tight, and go around. We already did it once, so we're going to do it twice. And we're going to go back up in that and stay to the left-hand side. So we are going to repeat that process all the way to the last. You will have 10 rows of these squares. So one, two, three. I got seven more to go, and I'll be back when I have all 10 of them. Okay? All right, welcome back. As you can see, I got my 10. Let's count them this way. 10 of the silver. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now we're going to work our way back down. And this is the end, so reinforce your end a um, little bit more than what you would have because it's going to take a lot of abuse. So here we go. 
Now what we're going to do now is what is called a weave. You're going to weave in and out. So basically all you're going to be doing is adding your 10 beads. And we're going to mimic exactly what's over here. And I have two beads there. Don't you just hate when that happens? But this is how, oops, this is how you break a bead instead of unstringing everything, is go ahead and break that bead, if you can. Like that. So I just broke it so I didn't have to take it all back out. So there you go. So we're going to go back down now. So we're going to take a 10 -0 bead. We're going to go through the super dual and pull through. We're going to take a 10 -0 bead and we're going to go through the 6 0 bead or 6 0 or 8 0, whatever you got there. And you're going to pull through. We're going to take a 10 0 bead. We're going to go through the other eye of the super dual and pull through. So see what we're doing? We're only adding 10 0 beads this time. Pick up a 10 0, go through the square, pull through. Pick up a 10 0, pull through, and go through the super dual. Alright, and that's what we're going to do all the way back down to here. And when we get down here, I'll come back and show you what to do when we get down there. So go ahead and add your 10 0 beads in there, and I'll be right back. Right, I put my last bead in there. I've not gone around. I want to push these up like that and just give them a flatten out. Kind of stretch them a little bit. Work them around. They're going to twist on you. So, you actually can finish your bracelet just like this. Or you can do like I did and go ahead and do two more rows. I actually like this width. It looks great on the wrist. Well, let's put it over here, sorry. Looks great on the wrist. And then all we're going to do is add a um, toggle. Toggle. All right, so you can add the toggle into this just by adding five or six beads here, four beads on one side, and a fifth bead. Go through your toggle thing over and over and over, and just go back and forth, round it up. Or we can go on, and I'm going to show you how you go on. Find out which side you're on. Now all we're going to do is add one square bead. So we're going to go back through that square bead there. And we're going to go around. Now we want our thread to always be on the right side. So remember how we um, loaded the beads on the first round going up is what we're going to do going down. So it's a 10 OB. It's a super dual. A 10 O. 8 O. Or 6 O. 10 O. Super dual. And a 10 O. And we're going to add one square bead. We're going to drop them down. Now we're going to connect this square to this square. So we're going to go into the square, come out the square, we're going to go around, come back over here to this square, 
go into the square and give it a pull. And you want these not real tight, but snug. So we're going to do that again. So 10 0 Super Duo, a 10 0, 8 or 6 0, 10 0, Super Duo, 10 0, and a square. So we're going to drop all of those. I'm going to lay it right next to that other square bead that we have there. We're going to go up into the square bead and we're going to pull. We're going to go around. We're going to circle it. Give it a pull. And we're going to do that one more time. If you're using the S line, you can do it twice. If I was using Fireline or uh, Fireline 60, I would probably do it three or four times. It doesn't matter. There is enough space in the um, square beads that you can go through it three or four times. Plenty. So that's all we're going to do for the second row. So I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to finish mine up till the end and we'll get down here to the end. I'll show you what to do there. Okay, I'm down here on the end. I'm pulling it to get it a little tighter. So now we're going to work this side over here on this side. So all we're going to do is grab us a square bead. I'm going to kind of match them up, see if they're pretty close. And all we're going to do is go around twice. And I just got stuck. There's one time. And two times. All that does is reinforces the beads. So as you remember, all this is is putting a 10 0 bead or 8 0 bead. It, I mean 10 0 or a 11 0 bead in there. It doesn't matter which one you put in there. So we're going to pick up, I'm using a 10 0 bead. I'm going to go through the super dual. Pick up another. 10 0 bead, and I'm going through that red shiny bead, which is a 8 0 or a 6 0, doesn't matter. This is a flexible pattern. And I don't have any fingernails. Okay, there you go. Go pull it down. Pick up a 10 0. <coughs> go through the super duo. And pull, pull the thread and the needle, not the bracelet. We're going to pick up a 10 0 and a square bead. We're going to drop them down. We're going to go into the square bead that's sitting right next to it. Give it a pull. Go right back down into that square bead that we just added. And give it a pull. Straighten it up. That's what that looks like so far. And we repeat this same pattern by picking up a 10 0, going through the super duo, a 10 0, going through that nice shiny red bead, 
Sometimes if you bend it, you can get get in there. Like that. There you go. Goes in through the eight or six OB and give it a pull. Pick up a ten OB. Go through the super dual bead. Give it a pull. Pick up a 10 O and a square bead. Then we're going to go into the square bead, come out the other side. thread on the end there keeps getting me caught. So there you go. We're going to go into this bead, the square bead, and we're going to pull and go back up into this square bead because we want to reinforce it twice at least and pull. little pull and go back down into that square bead and pull and we repeat that process over again so therefore I gave you this row and showed you how to connect it in the bottom down there to start your second row so I'm gonna go off camera I'm gonna finish this row and I'm gonna add the next two rows and then I be I will be right back with you and you go ahead and do the same thing Oops, sorry about that. Bead bead into the super dual. Seed bead and a square bead. Okay. Go up. Push it under. Bring it down. Now, what we're going to do here on the end is do a ladder stitch. I hope I have enough. To start off, we're going to pick up two of our 10 O's seed beads. And you have a bread, uh, I mean a thread bridge right there. Oh, it's silver, so you're not going to be able to really see it, but there is one right here. We're going to go underneath that. We're going to bring these two up. I'm going to lay them side by side. We're going to go up through one of them. The last one we put on. Push it down. We're going to put another one there. Go under the next thread bridge. Mm -mm. Go underneath that. Go up. I'm going to go through it. Kind of like a brick stitch, but the first one is um, go underneath the thread bridges. And you will find sometimes, see how far that is away from this bead right there? It's okay. Because I'm going to show you what you do. Go through that, give it a pull pick one up and the one that we just went under we're going to go under it again and it's going to make it lay side by side real nice and pretty so we're going to pull that up and sometimes you have to use your fingernails to pull it down so we'll pick up another one go through the next thread bridge go through that go up I always use my fingernails to push down. So we're going to do this again. And there again, I'm a little ways from where this one is. So we're going to help the next bead along. along. 
so that it will lay nice and straight. We're going to go right back in that same thread bridge that we just did. And we're going to go up. Now what we're going to do is do the same thing. We're going to put two, pick up two. We're going to skip this thread bridge and we're going to go through this thread bridge. And they're going to lay say, side by side just like that. But I'm going to reinforce this in one because when we put our barrel clasp on, these is what's going to be used quite a bit. And we'll pick up one. Go underneath the thread bridge that we did earlier. Go up through it. Pick up another one. Under the next thread bridge. Go through it. underneath the next one and this one now I'm a person that doesn't like to waste this expensive thread so I don't want to cut it off and be done with it there Reinforce your stuff. Use all that you can on your, um, use all your thread that you can. So I will go underneath of it and just weave in and out until I cannot weave in and out anymore. Yes, it does get tough every now and then, but if it gets tough, you just find a different bead to go in. Don't force it or you'll put your needle in your hand. I've done that a couple times. Like, see, that one there is a little tough. You can use pliers, but sometimes I find that it will break the bead. That didn't. But I'm on my last one anyway. So we're going to go up into this one. I am not going to go in that one because I cannot get back into that bead. So we're just going to drop down here and reinforce it with whatever bead we can grab onto. See that one's a little tight there too. So we're going to pull it through. I'm going to go through this little seed bead, the super duo, whatever I can get it through. And I'm just going to keep weaving. Until I don't have any more thread. I'm not real big on knotting your thing, but if you keep weaving it in, you're going to reinforce it that way, so. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna knot it one more time in between these two here. And all I'm going to do is do it like this. And then I'm going to carry it through two beads or three beads, whatever I can get through to hide it. I'm going to, I'm going to cut just like that. And I do leave a little tail. And then I take my lighter and I burn the end. It puts a little, um, thing on the end, a little ball. I think I got this in a knot, which I'm not going to mess with. But here's what we're going to do. Find you a barrel bead, clasp I mean, a barrel clasp, and it's got a space 
in between it there is for these beads to slide through. So you just slide it on there. You can put some um, E6000 on there. I'm going to do it the quick way just to show you that it slides on there. Weave it back, I mean, move it back and forth, back and forth. And then you close this in. Then you put your chain on there. So here's what the bracelet looks like. Whatever clasp you want to put on there, you can put um, <clears throat> like this one. I just ended all four of them like that, and I put a uh, um, a toggle clasp on this one. I'm out of clasp at the moment, but this is what it'll hook there. I'll put a little chain on it. And let's put this one on. Even though I got my thread, I will take that off. But here you go. It looks the same. Push it on. I'll have to weave it back and forth because it's a real tiny space that that... Um, there you go. And push that down. And you've got a finished bracelet. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and make one yourself. They're pretty easy and simple to make and they are very lovely to wear. So there you go. Thank you for watching.